Hey everyone, today's video is actually going to be the first video in a new series that I'm creating called Quick Update. This series is going to cover a lot of economic plans, uh, stimulus plan updates, a lot of stuff involving the United States economy, and I'm going to break it down into really easy to digest five minute videos, and hopefully that you guys get some value, something that you can you know easily consume and take away some really key nuggets of information. So with that, I'm going to hop into today's video, which is going to be all about the third stimulus check that is expected to come out in early 2021. So last week, President-elect Joe Biden outlined an entire stimulus plan that he plans to roll out when he gets inaugurated. This is called the American Rescue Plan. And what he outlines in there is a lot of help around businesses and household support um, around these turbulent times. So the one thing that I want to cover in today's video is actually regarding the new third stimulus checks that are supposed to come out as part of this bill. I'm going to hop into that. I'm going to talk about how much they're supposed to be, when they're supposed to come out, and who's going to be eligible for these, the third round of stimulus checks. Now, Joe Biden's new stimulus plan that he outlined last week actually covers how much these stimulus checks are actually going to be worth. And from everything that I've read, it looks like they're going to be worth $1,400 per individual tax filer and $2,800 for couples who filed jointly. Now, they're also giving out another $1,400 check per 17-year-old dependent in the household. Another thing that they're including in this one that wasn't included in the one that came out in 2020, the $600 one at the end of the year, is that they're now giving $2,000 checks based on adult dependents in a household. Now, what does this mean? The reason why this is $2,000 is because it wasn't included in the bill that gave everybody $600 checks. So they're giving them the full amount for these adult dependents. So it looks like the eligibility requirements for the third round of stimulus checks is going to be based very similarly on the previous two rounds of stimulus checks that came out. That means that the income limitations are probably going to be the $75,000 adjusted gross income based on your 2019 tax filing. Or if you file jointly, it's $150,000 um, as a couple who'd filed jointly and a head of household, it's going to be $112,500. This may change. This is in the early stages and this is how they're going to be rolling it out because it's quicker to get it through this way. It's something that's already been passed, something that they've already, they're already familiar with. So sticking with these guidelines, these income limitations makes it a lot easier to get the bill formed and through uh, the necessary approval processes. Oh, and another requirement uh, that I was reading about is actually to turn that like button blue. Uh, if you go to the below this video, you'll see a little like button. It's probably gray. If you hit the like button, it's going to turn blue. And that's actually one of the eligibility requirements. The last thing I actually want to touch on is when to expect the third round stimulus checks to arrive into your bank account. The country actually moves one step closer to this actually happening as Joe Biden and the two Democratic senators from Georgia take off it. Now, with that being said, the process may take longer than the Democratic leaders are hoping it would. But Alec Phillips, the chief U.S. political economist with Goldman Sachs, actually puts the estimated date that this bill will go through between mid-February and mid-March. So what this means is similar to how the, the previous rollout went um, once the bill was passed, which only took a few days after the bill was passed for the checks to start rolling out and arriving into people's bank accounts. I would expect that, you know, once this bill is passed in mid-February to mid-March, um, maybe even sooner, I would expect checks to start arriving a few days after that and to, you know, get into your bank accounts between mid-February and mid-March whenever that the bill is expected to pass. Thank you for watching. That's everything on the stimulus check as it stands. Joe Biden laid this out oh, less than a week ago, so I look forward to seeing how this plan progresses through to completion. And uh, if you like this kind of content, I'm going to be making more videos like this. Like I said, the quick update series. Um, if you're not a subscriber, please consider subscribing. You don't have to. But if you enjoyed the content, I really, really appreciate it if you liked the video. It goes a long way with helping the channel. The YouTube algorithm pushes this video to other people who might want to learn more uh, information about this kind of topic as well. So please like the video. That really does a lot for me. And um, I appreciate you staying tuned in this long. Uh, this is the end of the video. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Take care.